Hello Aries. Okay, so I do have some things for sale on my website and I also offer personal readings. If you're interested in anything like that, the link is down below here. And also if you swipe left, go to my link tree and you will find my information there in the bio. All right, Spirit, what is Aries supposed to be learning through whatever it is they're going through right now? What is Aries supposed to be learning from whatever they're going through? What is Aries supposed to be learning through whatever they're going through? Okay, so we have the hanged man. The hanged man is all about pausing. And I feel like that you are taking a pause from everything so you can kind of figure out what to do. We have the eight of wands and the normal rider weight deck. Um, it's a bunch of wands coming at you like really fast. And I feel like that you can be going through a lot of changes, a lot of transitioning. And it's hard for you to juggle it, which is why you're taking a pause, which is why you're taking a step back, which is why you're looking at something. We also have the five of wands in reverse. You're trying to get chaos out of your mind. You're trying to get chaos out of your life. Bottom deck energy we have here is the lovers. So your focus is on making a connection stronger. Okay, so that is your focus, making a connection stronger somehow. We have the World card, and we also have the Eight of Pentacles, and we have the eight, the Queen of Cups. So you're trying to give yourself a lot of self-love, a whole lot of self-love. With the Hanged Man, you taking a pause, the Eight of Wands is a bunch of juggles. Look, it's like you got downloaded with some stuff and you're like, how am I supposed to juggle this shit? Like, how am I even supposed to interpret what I need to interpret? How can I even make sense out of something? But with the five of wands, you're very determined to get this chaos out of your mind. You're very determined to get this, this gone. And you're doing it through giving yourself some self-love. I feel like that you are highly focused with the Eight of Pentacles. You are highly focused on working a certain connection out. Um, I feel like with the Hanged Man, you could have possibly been in a space a little bit longer than you should have been. But you are focused on your world. You're focused on building a world. And this is why you're going through everything that you're going through. But the question is, have you spoke those plans? Have you been speaking your truth? Have you been like talking about what you are going through? Communicating more, having a different point of view from whoever is around you. Like, have you been um, sympathetic or empathetic to their needs or, you know, I feel like with the connection, you know, you are really making a huge choice with the Two of Wands. You're making a huge choice with the Eight of Cups of walking away from something that no longer serves you. And you're walking forward with a very strong connection. We have the Seven of Cups. You have a lot of options, but you're using your discernment. You're like, oh my gosh, I'm like a kid in a candy store. I'm being tempted but I have a focus because I'm grown. That's kind of the vibe that I'm getting. You see how the Eight of Wands, everything is juggled here. But then you look at the Eight of Cups and they're all nice and, and formed. It goes from juggling to them being nice and neat. So it's like you know that what you're moving towards is more refined. What you're moving towards is more focused. What you're moving towards is what better serves you. You're letting go of the chaos. You're working on letting go of the chaos. 
we have the Queen of Wands. You're getting your confidence back. And we also have the King of Swords. And we have the Wheel of Fortune. So, you know, you have manifested a certain connection. You could be dealing with the with a I you know what? I'm not gonna take the reading there. But I feel like that you're really in your head. I was gonna start saying the signs of who you're dealing with, but this is really about what you're learning in the situation. So I do feel like that you are finding the confidence and what you need. And I feel like that the person that you're dealing with gives you that confidence to get what you want in life with the will of fortune, what you have manifested. They help you with that. With the king of swords and also the king, the knight of cups, you're wanting to offer, it's on your mind to offer something very loving to the situation we also have the seven of pentacles you're gonna have to kind of learn something new and different though and i feel like that you've been doing that and it's kind of a struggle right now but it takes practice it takes practice and you might have a couple of hiccups along the way but don't stay stuck in those hiccups we have the six of wands in reverse so even though things could be difficult the six of wands in reverse means that you could have those hiccups that feel like they're not victories at all. It's like, damn it, I went back to da 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 I went back to this, I went back to that. As long as you don't stay there, people make mistakes. People go back and forth. The more that you practice staying focused, the further away you're going to get from a certain situation or a certain mindset. You're staying in your heart and you're finding truth with it. And you're getting the clarity that you need, though. We have the Queen of Pentacles. You're heading towards something that is extremely abundant. You are absolutely heading towards something that is extremely abundant. So we are going to pull some cards from your person. All right, Spirit. What message does Aries person have for them? And remember that it doesn't have to be a love interest. It could be a sibling. Anybody that you love. Okay. Anybody that's been your support system through this. Anybody that you love. All right, Spirit. What is the love message? You got two of them and they popped out like instantly. We have romance. Cupid's arrow strikes. We also have reflection. Give each other some space at the moment. Trust and have faith that all will work out for the best. Okay? Sometimes your person just needs to know, hey, I need space, but I still love you. I need space, but I need I need time to work this out. But just know that the focus is still there. There is a sense of you still needing to give, like, security. And knowing that they're safe and that they're still on the same battleground as you are. You know? They need to know that they're safe too. So that is what I have for you for today, Aries. I'm sending you all kinds of love, light, healing, and protection. Have a great day, and I will talk to you soon.